Good everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if you get an error message saying that Word cannot complete the save due to a file permission error when you're trying to save a Word document. Now, the first and foremost step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to um, close the document and restart the computer and then try to work on the document and then try to resave the file and see if it works. If it works well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, as a next step, uh, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to go to the location where you have your Word document saved. So in for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to go to the downloads folder. That's the demo, uh, demonstration file what I've saved on the computer. So I will do a right click and click on File Explorer, or you can press Windows and open Windows Explorer. Go to the downloads, under the downloads, uh, go to the location where I have the uh, word file or where you have the word file saved. So you do a right click and then click on show more option until you find properties. So click on properties, under properties, um, you will see an option under attributes which says this file came from another computer. So, and the might be blocked to help protect this computer. So click on unblock. Now this happens usually when you try to open a file uh, which was sent to you via email or if you have downloaded the file from the internet and you're trying to modify the file and save it and that's when you get this error message. So make sure the unblocks, unblock has been selected. Click on apply and then click on OK. And at the same time, make sure the read only has been unchecked. Okay. Once it is done, click on OK. Uh, once you click on OK, now you can try to open the document and try to resave the file and see if it works. If it works well and good, you don't have to worry about the next step. Now, in spite of trying this step, and if you are facing a, a similar problem, the next step, what I would suggest you is, I would suggest you to copy this file and copy this file so you can do a right click and click on show more option copy this file and save it in a different location rather than having it on the same drive i if you have a different drive try to save it on locally on the computer or maybe you can try to save it on a different location then try to open the file and then try to save it and see if that fix the problem now that's the one step. In case if it fixed, you don't have to worry about the next step. Now the next step, uh, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to take ownership of the file. So how do you do it? You can do a right click on the file name and then click on show more options. Click on properties. Under properties, uh, go to security. Under security, uh, make sure you go ahead and click on advanced. Under advanced, make sure you are the owner of this file. In my case, I am the owner. In case if it is, if you don't see the owner, you may go ahead and click on change. And then um, you may go ahead and type everyone. Okay. Or you can type your, uh, your name. Now for the best results what i would suggest you to go ahead and do is go ahead and type everyone under this section click on check names click on advanced uh, you don't need to click on advanced click on ok click on apply and then click on ok and then click on ok and then try to open the document and try to save the file and see if that works if that works well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, in spite of trying all these steps and if you're still facing a problem, the next step, what I would suggest you to do is, I would suggest you to open the document. So basically you can open any Word document or you can open a Word program. Click on file at the top left corner. Basically what you're doing is you're trying to go and update the office. So once you click on file, then click on account. Under account, you will see update options here and click on update now. Now what this will do is this will go ahead and update your office to the latest version in case if there are any updates available. It will go ahead and download and install the updates. Then you can try to uh, 
make the modification and save the file and see if it works. If it works, well and good. You don't have to try the next step. Now, the next step, uh, the last step, or maybe the next step, what I would suggest you to do here is to go ahead and open the document in application safe mode. So to open the document in application safe mode, what you will have to do is you will have to do a right click on the start button and open a run window. First, you will have to open Word in application safe. So you will go ahead and open application in safe mode. The command is winword space forward slash safe. Click on OK. So this will open the Word application in application safe mode. So basically, it will disable all the third party plugins or add-ons which are associated with Word and it will open in application safe mode. Once it is done, try to open the document in application safe mode. How do you do it? Click on File, click on Open and then click on Browse. Navigate to the location where you have saved the file which you're having trouble with. So, or if, or if you're trying to resave the document, try to open a blank document. So, in my case, I have the document saved in downloads folder. Click on open, open the file, make the changes, necessary changes, what you have to make, and then try to save the file and see if it works. If it works, well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, the last step is to go ahead and repair your office. How do you do a repair of office? So you can do a right click on the start button and click on run. In the run window, you can go ahead and type appwiz.cpl. So basically, this is a shortcut or a command to open programs and features on your computer. Once you type this command, click on OK. You will see all the programs which are installed on the computer. Scroll down and look for Microsoft Office. Highlight it using your mouse and then click on change. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now you will be given two options to repair your office. One is quick repair, another one is online repair. So when you're performing a repair, always go ahead for an online repair. So what this will do is, this will not only repair your office, it will also repair the existing corrupt files which are there on the of, for office with the new ones. And uh, to do this, you have to make sure your, your computer is connected to the internet. Once you uh, try, once you make sure your uh, computer is connected to the internet, go for the online repair and click on repair. The repair will take about 5 to 10 minutes. That depends on the speed of the computer. Then try to open the document which you are trying to open. Try to save the document and that should fix the problem. Now, in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit, uh, hit the like button. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.